Okay. Have you always lived in Wayne County? Yes. Alrighty. And how did you, how'd your family end up in Wayne County? Um, my dad, I don't know. I really don't know. My dad was raised, or my mom was raised in Blackshear, but we've been here for, gosh, 70 years, 75. Okay. And so you've lived here your entire life? You've never moved to another I have. Place? I moved to, um, Bullitt County for college for four years, okay. five years, and then I'm back. Right. But that's it. So then most of your family is in this area? Yes. And still in the area? Everybody's still here. Okay. Very good. So I'm also going to share with you a little bit about where I came from, even though we've talked about that just a little bit. Um, I'm originally from Glenn County, and that's where my dad is from, and my mom is from Ware County, so I have a lot of family mm -hmm. in Close South Georgia here. as yep. well. Can you tell me a little bit about what kind of home you live in, whether you are a homeowner or a renter, or in what kind of structure, like if it's a single family home, a multi-unit condo apartment, that kind of okay. thing? Okay, we have a, um, a, a brick home, I mean, with six people that are living there. Mm -hmm. um, we own our home. Okay. What else? What was the other question? All right. That's pretty much That's it. it. How long okay. have you lived in your home? Um, since we married, twin in 1995. Very good. All right. So in your home, or on your home, I guess you could say, um, have you ever invested in solar technology either on your rooftop of your home or on your property or as part of a business or a program no. that you've been involved in? Okay. So if you have not had it installed, um, why not? Did you make that decision or was it made for you? It was made for me. My husband did. Okay, so it was something y'all had thought about before? Not at the time, no. Okay. I mean, we've seen other people that have done it now, but not when we built, you know, 25 years ago. Okay, okay, so y'all did build your own home. Uh-huh, we did. Built it. Okay, and did that come up in conversation no. as you were building? No. No? So y'all hadn't really ever talked about it before? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just no. not really anything, you just hadn't considered it? Right. Okay, all right, so not necessarily you thought about it, decided not to use it, it's just not something not you consi thought right. about. Right, right. Okay. I mean, we see it at other places and talk about it, but we have never, I guess, investigated to try to see if we could, I guess, install it now after we built. Okay. So there's not a lot of initial interest mm -mm. in it at first. Okay. Alrighty. So would you, if it was available to you, think you would ever want that in your home? Sure. I'd be willing to do it. Okay. Why do you think If it would be a savings, I mean, if it would be a cost savings. Okay. So long-term cost savings for your home. All right. I mean, I think so. I mean, my husband redid all the light bulbs with the LED, thinking, you know, that would concern. I mean, the initial cost costs more, but then it, you get better energy, so he says. Right. So I feel sure he would he would do solar energy if it was beneficial in the long run. Okay. Yeah, so advantageous to lowering, like, right. the overall energy bill, mm -hmm. electricity bill. Okay. Very good. Is there anything I'd read? Oh, no, go questions. ahead. Some of them don't apply to you, depending on what you respond How you to some right. other questions. So make sure I don't skip any other important ones. So next, um, we'll talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. So I'm going to give you a map of the United States here. And this is just kind of for you to guess. Okay. You don't have to be an expert or anything like that. Just kind of knowing what your opinion is, where do you think that people adopt or invest in the most solar in the United States? And could you just draw that on the map? You can like circle or do a star or whatever you want. Um, where? Where do you think more people would be likely to adopt solar technology? I would probably probably say on the west. I would I would think over here in this area. What's the correct answer? There is no correct answer. Oh, it's just no okay. Well, I mean, I'm sure we can look at a map and, mm -hmm. you know, exactly and determine where there, there is more of it. But um, for the purpose of the questionnaire, we're just wanting to know where people perceive, perceive it to be. Would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for you know whatever reason you think people would have it there. All right, so you did not circle Georgia, correct? No. I think more likely on the west coast. Okay. So why do you think people on the west coast would have more solar energy on their rooftops? Like what should have led you to choose? I have, that? I just think they're more progressive than okay. than we are in Georgia. Okay, it's a different mindset mm -hmm. over there. Okay, yeah, definitely. Not that we won't convert to that, but I mean, I just think they're definitely more progressive. Okay, 
So they're more innovative, like more likely to adopt new things like mm -hmm. that quicker mm -hmm. than we would. Okay. All right, well, we're going to do kind of the same thing as well, but with another map. So here we do have the state of Georgia. Uh huh. And kind of the same thing. Um, where do you think we would be more likely to see people adopting solar energy in Georgia specifically? And so my next question is this. So I see a lot of panels, it, like on the on our highways today, mm -hmm. close around us. Is that similar to what, is that solar? If it's, yeah, if it looks like a big black panel, it's Yes, there's and there's a energy. there's a lot like there's one going out to Odom and one going out to Scriven. You know, have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so I'm wondering if there's more. I feel like there's probably more because there's more room down in South Georgia than there is North Georgia. You know, what I'm saying space mm -hmm. like available uh, land to put yeah. them up. But as far as individual usage in homes, it would be definitely more around that land area because there are more homes. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense. so would we be talking about? Individual use yeah. or? So for this, we're kind of focusing more on like the homeowners. Okay, so definitely more. I think it would be more in the Atlanta area. But that's a good point to bring up. Because there's more you homes. also say like you, where you would think more businesses would have it. Because uh -huh. that, that is a slight difference of where you're going to see like the fields of the panels as mm -hmm. for a business whereas, you know, versus the panels on the rooftops. Uh -huh. the homes. So you think in Atlanta. You can circle that. Yeah, on the I think well. around Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. And, well, there's just more homes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's very logical. That makes sense. Alrighty, so let's see our next question here. What about a lot of your close friends that you know here in Georgia, um, in Wayne County, or mm -hmm. across the state as well? Do you know any friends that have solar? I do. You do? Okay, mm -hmm. are they here in Wayne County? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's on their personal homes? Mm -hmm. okay. They're in business. All right, why do you think that they do have um, solar panels on their homes? Um, now I'm thinking about it's Hugh Armstrong. He's just real into gadgets. I mean, you know, I mean, he is just a gadget man, and so I think he probably studies and okay. and um he did it on his um at the dentistry at his he's a dentist, but he okay. did it on his. Uh, so he has it at home and mm -hmm. he did it at, at his work, and then I I'm sure probably then he installed it at home some. Okay, so you know a few people. But he's younger and more. I mean, you know, he's like yeah more techno, I guess. What about your friends in the area, close friends that you know that don't have it? Why do you think they've chosen not to? Use I think it? they're just like us. They're old homeowners that have been there for a while and that just wasn't the big thing to do at the time. Right. I mean, I don't think that, I think they would do it if there was a, like I said, if you could do it and have a long-term investment, even if it cost a little bit of money up front, if you knew we were going to save them the long end, they would do it. Yeah. So it just hadn't been brought to their attention. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But if it had, if it ever is brought to their attention, they would, might look into it. And oh, yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. All right. So kind of the, the last, kind of related to that, what we were talking about, do you think there were any kind of characteristics, um, and you kind of already said this a little bit, with the adoption or non-adoption people that you know that have or don't have the solar energy, if there's any common characteristics that either side shared? So people that you know that have I just it, think it's being younger energy. and more okay. innovative. I really do. I think just... Knowing that okay. it's out there and that you can do it and the the reward of doing it, the benefits of it paying off. Okay. So kind of, that's sort of like a demographic thing, you think? Like the younger, uh -huh. kind of more progressive, like you are saying, uh -huh. the West Coast people are more likely to have it. And then you know, other folks that don't are just probably maybe an older generation. It just wasn't a big topic. And they just don't know enough about it. Okay. I, I think the knowledge like about the it. Lack of knowledge mm -hmm. about it. 